I'm going to show you today is uh, some one pocket, and a lot of these, a lot of these, uh, some one pocket moves, and a lot of these moves come up in eight ball. For example, in this situation here, if I had the high balls, which we got the the, the yellow balls or the low balls, and the red balls are high balls, if it was eight ball, I, I have, can I can bank this ball over here. And I could also do that. This is my pocket playing one pocket, and that's my opponent's pocket playing one pocket. I could do that. But then I've got nothing next. This red ball doesn't go. These balls are all tied up. Nothing goes in this pocket next playing one pocket. Well, I can say nothing goes. Yeah, this ball goes, but you can't keep the cue ball in play. You can't keep the cue ball to where it's going to stop up here and give you a good shot. You got, the cue ball is going to have to run a lot to get this ball to kill in here. In fact, let me make that ball so it doesn't go. Let's just go ahead and make that so it positively doesn't go. Now it positively doesn't go. All these balls are tied up. Playing eight ball or one pocket, this is what I would do. Especially, these come up all the time playing one pocket. Everybody, a lot of, a lot of times, a lot of amateurs are weak one pocket players. Always see this shot as soon as they get to the table. Oh, I got a free bank at my pocket because these balls are tied up. Wrong. Wrong shot. You've got to get these balls in play. Nothing else goes for you. This ball doesn't go by. These balls aren't dead. This ball doesn't go. Nothing goes. So what you would do is you'd bank this ball into these balls, get something to this rail, something to the bottom rail, hopefully, and put your, put your opponent right behind this ball over here to the rail. Just a power. Move balls towards your pocket and stick your opponent behind the ball. No better move in one pocket. Like so. Now if that's your opponent's pocket over here, I'd say he's a big underdog to win this game. Huge underdog to win this game. All right, here's another perfect one pocket situation. None of these balls are dead in this pocket. This is my pocket. This is gonna be your pocket for all these one pocket situations. My opponent has missed. He tried to make something. This red ball here missed it. It came back up to here. And he had position on the eight if he made it, so thank God he missed it. But I'm going to shoot off this ball here. This is what I see. If I shoot off the right-hand side of this ball and try to draw it down, that ball's frozen to the rail. And it's very easy to double kiss it, and you can get in trouble on the wrong side here. And also, by doing that, I'm not getting anything on my side of the table. I want to get balls on my side of the table in here. So it, I think the best shot here, personally, is to shoot off this ball and try to go one, two, three rails into here and bounce down to here for a safety. Even if I go short and hit up in here, he's got still, my opponent still has nothing that he can make. But if I can hit here and bounce down here for a safety, I can get him in a world of trouble. So I'm, I'm right here and I want to go plus one diamond, plus two diamonds, plus Oh uh, yeah, plus two ought to do it. So when I look up here to the end rail, I'm shooting off this diamond, and I want to go plus two past that to here on the third rail. It's the same plus two system we discussed earlier. Here's plus two is right here. Plus three, plus four, plus five. So we're going to go and aim at that, the angle that we want. You want to see the angle you want that cue ball to come off of, come off at. Try to make it go along that angle. It can go a little longer with a little bit more English and make it tighten up. So we'll go between plus two and plus three, like right in here. Just want to make sure we don't scratch on this shot. So you want to go plus two in here. Take a good look at where you want to hit that first, that second rail there. Visualize it. When you're standing at the air at port arms, go ahead, get on me. You're standing at the air at port arms. You want to, right here in the air, you're playing like air guitars, air pool. You're visualizing the shot, how hard you want to hit it, the, how much I'm cutting it, the angle it's going to come off and come around. And I'm also visualizing banking this ball into these balls. And shooting hard enough to get something, a little bit of something on my side of the table, hopefully. So let's see how good we can hit it.
and get the safety. But now instead of a safety, I'm running, I'm running out. So made one, double got a kiss, another kiss, and made one, and uh, the whole shot turned into a positive. But there was, there's nothing, no way we could go wrong with a shot regardless. We got lucky and made one. I don't know how that ball went in, but you know what I mean? Moscone might have picked it out when it was better straight pool days. <laughs> but yeah, I didn't see it. Another one pocket situation. This is your pocket. Again, this is your pocket. Your, this is your opponent's pocket here. What I see here is just to bank the ball into the stack, and a lot of people just go to the end rail. I like doing a power shot here, rearranging the furniture, getting as many balls as possible over here, and by that I gotta shoot harder. And if I go up here to the end rail, which is a, 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 a choice of a lot of one pocket players, you just bank this ball into these balls pretty firm and go up here where the end rail is, you're going to let the person, your opponent, see these balls that you knock towards your pocket and he'll be able to play off of them and maybe put you in trouble.